Chris, if you don't know who I am, I'm one of the tavern managers. I am the tavern manager, and I also been going through dining, floating back and forth between the dining rooms. I want to take a moment here to show you how we have mapped out our north and south dining areas to assure that we are six feet social distancing. So this is the floor plan of the south dining room, and as you can see, the numbered tables are the seatable tables, which leaves ample space in between each table. Down here we have these tables that look kind of close, but they also are separated by walls. So that also adds to the six feet social distancing. This happens in both the north and the south dining room with spaced out time seating so that we assure that the capacity is where it's supposed to be throughout the dining time. Good evening folks, how are we doing? Welcome to the south dining room. Chris here will uh, seat you. Thank you for keeping your uh, social distancing. We uh, sure do appreciate that. Would you like to come in and join us? Yes. Thank Ms. you. Margaret, Mr. Walter, I'll take you to your table. Okay. And how are you? Goody, how's your day going? Good. Good, good. Good, good, busy. So for any uh, residents out there that are still doing dine-in, this is kind of our uh, procedure. Uh, what we'll do is we'll have the residents out in the lobby here and we'll keep the social distancing so for instance uh would you like to get um judy, judy please we'll okay. have judy come in and dine with us Ms. Judy, you come with me. but what we'll do is we'll al nice? alternate the tables so this table would be free like then we have margaret and walter over here dining together this table will be empty and then judy will be down here with her husband or you know two of her friends or whatnot but um this is how we keep our social distancing and then that there'll be no one at that table and so on and so forth here so we, we're doing a real good job of it so we'd really love to have you come down and you know see what we're doing and enjoy and get out of the room and come and enjoy uh dining services either in the north or the south thank you good morning everyone welcome to dish talk slash menu chat uh we'll go over the breakfast and then we'll uh slide into dinner on uh monday you're going to have um, assorted cold cereals. Tuesday, uh, bacon egg sandwich. Wednesday, waffle. Thursday, sausage uh, biscuit. Scones on Friday and French toast on Saturday. Dinner time, Sunday, we'll have uh, fruit of the day, our uh, Regency Oak salad, cream and tomato soup, uh, roast turkey dinner, carved bistro steak with blue cheese and uh, demi. Uh, bre uh, bread stuffing, mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, roasted asparagus tips, German chocolate cake, and sugar-free dessert of the day. Monday, we will have um, Caesar salad, beef barley soup, bread of the day, pork stir-fry, lots, uh, lots of veggies in there for you Walter. Roasted airline chicken breast topped with uh, Parmesan cream sauce, penny with marinara, Parmesan polenta, steamed broccoli, buttered carrots, and pumpkin pie. Tuesday, mixed green salad, lentil soup, bread of the day, grilled bratwurst with onions and sauerkraut, uh, General Tao's chicken, which if you noticed, uh, we have so somehow been able to get a little chili pepper on this menu to uh, help the residents with spiciness. That is a tiny pepper there. Uh, jasmine rice. Uh, cheese, uh, pierogies, peas and onions, which was a request, buttered cauliflower and cookies for dessert with a sugar-free, probably a sugar-free cookie. Uh, Wednesday, our crudite plate, or what we call a little mini salad bar. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the chef salad last night. We were around the dining room all night last night and people were getting, giving us raves on it, so we'll continue with that. Some people had it for their dinner. Um, so we'll continue with that. Uh, chicken noodle soup, bread of the day, uh, roasted airline chicken breast. So we had a duplicate on this. As you know, we will change it up and uh, we'll put maybe a flyer out or just let you know what we're gonna, what sauce we're gonna do, but it certainly won't be the same sauce as on Monday. So we'll change that up. The stuffed shrimp, which we had on a few weeks ago, that was a uh, big success with uh, stuff with crab meat. Uh, pasta with garlic and oil, baked potato, roasted beets, sauteed spinach, eclairs, and sugar-free dessert of the day. Thursday, uh, another request, the chopped Regency Oak salad, vegetable soup, 
grilled ham steak, chicken moss salad, cheesy grits, seasoned red beans, grilled yellow squash. Um, I said green beans, sorry. Seasoned red beans, grilled yellow squash, southern green beans, and a fruit cobbler. Sugar-free dessert of the day. Friday, uh, chef salad. There you go. That's uh, southern green beans was also a request. Oh, yeah. southern green beans was a request. Thank you. So you got your chef salad again on on Friday. Enjoy it. She crab soup, bread of the day, fried catfish, smothered pork chop with peppers, onions, and mushrooms, which was another request. Mashed potatoes, pinto beans, uh, Creole okra with tomato. That was another request. Uh, roasted uh, spaghetti squash, blueberry crisp, sugar-free dessert of the day. And finally, Saturday, bagels and lox, uh, fruit for Sunday morning, mixed green salad, uh, minestrone soup, bread of the day, barbecue ribs, veal stew, which was another request, baked beans, mac and cheese, corn on the cob, steamed zucchini, and uh, red velvet cake, and sugar-free dessert of the day. An email from Margaret or Walt or both of you on request and some other request along the dining room. Please tell us and we will try to get it on the dine on the uh, menu for you. Absolutely. Are you raising your hand? I was waiting. Oh, okay. Waiting. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if we had a question. We had a question now from our own staff. <laughs> um, Where's the recipe? Yeah, Margaret. Margaret, you want to start the recipe? Yeah, you can play it again if you don't mind. It's still recording? Mm -hmm. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make like a bloopers edition. Right? Uh, hopefully everyone's happy with the uh, two extra additions in the dining room. That gets us up to four. So we'll be adding two more to the menu next week. Uh, I knew the rotisserie chicken would be a big hit. Um, for those new folks, it is actually in a rotisserie oven. The cooks do it for lunchtime. And then they do uh, fresh ones at dinner, they have some in the north, and then they transport some over to the south. So it is rotisserie chicken, because I know in other establishments, they just use rotisserie chicken on some chicken legs and call it rotisserie chicken, but we do not do that here at Regency Oaks. Um, but we are um, toying with the idea of the uh, getting two more um, choices in the dining room. I don't know what we're missing. What are we missing, like the hamburger and a hot dog maybe? Yeah. Other than that, we might be back up to... Uh, Hamburger would be great. So, yeah. yeah, so we'll just keep adding on. We'll keep chugging along here and um, try to get some more choices of ice cream. I know everyone loves the ice cream, so that's why we added that as well. But Johnny and I, and when Phil's here, and you see Chris in the dining room now each night, he's kind of rotating back and forth. Yes, ma'am. Would it be possible to have an omelet on there? In the dining room? Possibly. I don't always get it, but I know a lot of people do. Okay. Can you repeat it? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, the, young la the young lady asked if we can have an omelet in the dining room. We uh, have eggs all the time, so uh, I'll just get together with the, the staff and, and see what we can come up with. But something like that should not be a problem, especially since we have a million eggs. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Do you gentlemen know of any other updates? Hopefully everybody enjoyed Labor Day. Yes. 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 Very good. Yes. Good, 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 good. Um, we got the holidays coming up. They're right around the uh, corner here, too. So yeah. is there any other questions I can ask? Yes. I have a complaint. Oh, goody. Uh, I know the cooks are doing wonderfully well, and they are proud of what they do, and they do well. Okay. It's good food. Thank you. The delivery is something else. Okay. What's wrong with the delivery? It comes as a, like it's, everything is a mishmash. It's almost like they tipped it upside down. Okay. And um, the uh, thing that it comes in, what's that white stuff? Styrofoam. Styrofoam. They have little cubbies for the side mm -hmm. dishes. Mm -hmm. They're never in there. They're always on top mm -hmm. of the uh, main dish. Yesterday was horrible. Okay. Uh, it would, I couldn't even recognize the main dish, which was finally pen and chicken. It's probably not the cooks. It's probably more when it's being transported. Oh, so it's we'll not just the cook. No, no. no. I know okay. the cooks are proud of what they do. Yeah, and then we'll and we'll get start use getting rid of the styrofoam containers anyway, and using the uh, black ones with the but plastic the kids, lids. I think they're careless. They don't treat it okay. like they should. Well, that's that's something that we'll have to you know 
educate them a little bit more on, but and it's, you know, it's been six months. The food, yeah. is, the food is good. Okay. I know it's been prepared. Well. The containers are difficult because the styrofoam, it just sits on top where the plastic, you know, the clear and black to goes, those seal in, it keeps things in the compartments because we were doing so many, so we're gonna go back to those black ones as soon as we can. Well, and, and I know that the help. chocolate cakes, the chocolate goes yeah. on the styrofoam, yeah. never on the cake. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. More teaching. Thank you. Mary, how are you? It's been a long time. I know. Well, I wanted to come down here and thank you, so I figured I'd better get up and get going and do it. But thank you, Mary. And thank you for all that you're doing, especially thank, thank you for the change in the different kinds of fruit. I, I yes. really enjoy yeah, the plums. Nice I love the figs. I'd love to see them more often, but I know that's a very short season. Do you ever have access to something called, and this was a South America, uh, South Australian fruit, so I don't know if it's in this part of the world yet or not, but it was called a custard apple. And it was very good. And you peeled it and it tasted as though it was a an apple custard. We got a really good produce company and if anybody can get it, they can. Okay. Well, Mary's, Mary's question was um, if, she, if we can get a custard apple. So believe it or not, we used um, two different produce companies, and we also get some produce from Cisco. So we're sourcing out a lot of, you know, a lot of different options. Okay. Uh, good question. Let me let me call them right now for you. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I will. I will call them. We have a really, really good relationship okay. with um, Jason from the Produce Patch. You have to go to 41 first to get Australia. <laughs> no, no problem. That'll go on his bill. <laughs> but um. Uh, Johnny and I, when we were walking the dining room um, last night, uh, we had a nice um, conversation, and then we had a really like touching comment from um, a resident and his wife, and uh, she actually said it, and she said, "Wow, I could really see the passion that you guys have here." And it was, you know, all of us, but he was. They were talking about, you know, Johnny and I, because they could just see the excitement that we have, and you know, and and how much love that we have for that place. So. I just want to let you know, you know, if you didn't already know it, it, that is the truth. You know, this is our passion and this is our love. So, for what it's worth. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I've heard several residents say that you saved their life by being able to go to the dining room. It was, socialization was just so great for mental health. Thank you. Look at that. You're a superhero now, huh? <laughs> just, just watch the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks. Yeah. That's what it's like. It's like being on an island by yourself. You, you'll go nuts. You'll start talking to soccer balls. You gotta see it. You'll have to repeat this, but so the Roro board was part of a televised uh, virtual conference last week, and they were talking about uh, socialization, mm -hmm. and one day of isolation equals smoking 15 cigarettes that day that bad that's right. bad that bad well, well if that says anything let's get out and go here huh yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of cigarettes <laughs> eleanor what can i do for you well i'm looking forward to having spaghetti and meatballs i think it's saturday this saturday and but what i would love to have with it is a salad and the salad of the day is potato salad. No, I, yeah. Uh, are you gonna be in the dining room? The dining room. Yeah. yeah. So it's what we night. did, huh? It's night. So what we did is, yes, there is potato salad or there'll be tuna salad on the menu. But if you come down to the dining room for dine-in, we will have house salads for you. And it's always a nice salad. It's not just, you know, yeah. it could be a Regency salad or something, but it'll have nuts, it'll have cranberries and stuff yeah. like that. So we definitely want to give you that option. Uh, down into the uh, the dining room. Come to the dining room. Come yes. to the dining room, please. Yes, ma'am. I was wondering, after this hockey series is over, we're going to have lightning cake. Uh, Ricky's an island. Hold on a second. Is that a direct <laughs> shot at me? That's the only reason they're here. I see you every day. Every day, like, how many times do we pass each other? 
I, I had to wait to do Trouble it now. Makers. This is unbelievable. I can't take this. That's what I'm sorry. That's what I'm Did sorry. you put her up to this? Nope. Well, it's Chris's last day. Congratulations. <laughs> well, on that note, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you.